Very good versatility in the flesh. So what's going on YouTube? So today we got a book called Man. I actually went to my friendly neighborhood library and picked up two books that um found kind of interesting. So the first book I picked up is 40 Acres by Dwayne Alexander Smith. And um, actually, this book was recommended to me by a subscriber, uh, Miss Arlene A. Thanks so much for recommending it to me. Um, I actually uh, looked up this, uh, you know, the back cover on the book, man. It seemed fairly interesting. And so, um, you know, I, I checked on the library website and they said they had it available, man. So I went ahead and scooped it up and I'm going to dig into it and uh, see if it's any good. See if I, see what I enjoy about it. So thank you again, Miss Arlene. And um you know, hopefully I can uh, put it on the radar for, for some of my other views as well who may not have known about it. So, looking forward to reading this. It's actually a legal thriller. So, let me read a little bit about the story uh, to you to, so you can kind of understand what 40 Acres is going to be about. So, it says that 40 Acres um, is about a young black lawyer named Martin Gray. And um, he actually goes is, goes to this retreat that's not really known to the public, um, and it's called 40 Acres. And, he says, and it says that it is a last vestige of antebellum America. And on 40 Acres, black men are called masters, and whites are considered property. So it's kind of a switch on things. And, um, and so basically they're guaranteeing them at this place that if he joins their ranks, that they can guarantee him success as a lawyer and, you know, all the accolades that come with being a high profile person. And, uh, but of course things are not as they seem. And now he's trying to figure out how to kind of get out of there, um, in, in the intact. <laughs> so it's actually a thriller. So again, 40 acres by Dwayne Alexander Smith. And I actually didn't even know, man, that they got an African-American section in my library. So I actually didn't even know about that. So that's cool, though. Shout out to um, giving them a little spotlight, man, and, and kind of letting us know that we do have black writers out there since a lot of people think that we just write urban fiction and that's it. Now, the second book I actually just happened to pick up, man, I was looking for... Um, actually a book by Chester Himes, um, that was recommended to me, but I ended up, um, not finding that book, even though they said it was there. Um, but this is actually the autobiography of Chester Himes. It just recently came out. It was written by, uh, Lawrence, Lawrence, Miss Lawrence Jackson, who is, uh, who is actually, um, at Johns Hopkins University, a black male at Johns Hopkins University currently. And, uh, he wrote the art a biography about, Chester Himes, and it's, it's new, it's been recently released, and it's actually, he's actually going to be talking about it at the Decatur Book Festival, which is coming up September 2nd through 3rd, and I plan on going to hear the talk. So I was actually planning on probably purchasing the book at the talk, but I ended up seeing it, and I said, well, I can get a head start on reading the book. Um, you know, Maybe I'll be able to talk to him a little bit about it if I have any questions or anything like that. So picked it up. Um, I don't know much about Chester Himes, man. I just know that he was a very prolific black writer and, um, I definitely going to be doing a book. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a video, excuse me, about his life because, um, I feel like he is probably a writer that, uh, that probably is kind of similar to the way that I am viewing my current writing at the moment. So, um, definitely going to be somebody I want to profile, man, and, and learn more about. So, that's it. That was my book call from the library, man. Um, so, I'm going to catch y'all soon, man. From Zone 1 to Zone 6 and all my partners in the sticks, man. Y'all be cool out there. And remember, we out here building, not destroying. Take care.